Um, so when I went to Kings, again, the same question they asked, when are you going to go back home? You're so well trained. And I said, I'm not going to go back home without having a specialization. And they said, what about liver? Oh, that was the stage that yeah. you got into liver. So that when I went to Kings for a registrar interview, they said, why don't you do liver? Because local people were not interested in doing liver. Um, at that time, the early phases of liver transplantation, they saw the specialty as a very difficult specialty because those days we used to have retrievals in the middle of the night, you had to fly everywhere to get an organ, come back. It wasn't popular among the British graduates to do liver transplantation. So it was easy to get into liver transplantation. And once I saw a liver transplant operation, I was really fascinated. Because for me, I, I always saw me as a very technical, talented surgeon. I mean, I don't know if I should say that myself, but I always saw me as that. And when I saw such a challenging operation, I thought that's a specialty for me. The tougher it is, the better it is for me. So I got into liver transplantation from King's initially as a locum for six months and then became a registrar, became a senior registrar and was appointed as a consultant in King's when I was 34 years. I think I had a colleague as well, an influence of a colleague called Nigel Heaton. He never gives up. He never, he never, he's very upset when things are not working out well. I think maybe I, I learned a little bit about, a little bit from him about never to give up. I think See, liver transplant surgery is something where you can't afford to make mistakes. Actually, it's not that you make a mistake, you can correct it. You're punished heavily. The patients are punished for your mistakes. Therefore, it has to be about how, how perfectly you do the operation. It's um, grabbing opportunity when, when it comes your way. Um, I became um, a consultant in King's College Hospital. I mean, it's... I'm still an outsider um, um, and how did I come up and how did the recognition come? Um, it's all about identifying a problem and uh, you need the place as well. I think King's College Hospital gave me the opportunity to explore uh, and to do new things and when I went to King's they had done something like 125 transplants. Now they have done 6,000 transplants. So I went in so early in that field. Um, so I, be, there was also a very good pediatric hepatology department in King's. They were very famous uh, for pediatric hepatology. I wasn't um, a pediatric surgeon at all, but I became a pediatric transplant surgeon, operating on the smallest of the babies.